All right, Charles Bay here. New World Order of Finance, Mathematics, No Math and No Money, Metaphysics. So in this video, I wanna talk about um, this video I want to talk about I just had it oh uh, the psychology of, of thinking that you have to own something right so you don't need to own anything what you want to do is you want to control the experience right so a lot of us have heard the you know, popular phrase, you know, own nothing and control everything. And so when it comes to experiences, right, the only thing that really matters is you having the experience, okay? What's the difference between, let's just say, owning a Lamborghini versus being able to ride in a Lamborghini whenever you want to? or having the experience and the memories of riding in a Lamborghini, okay? If you have a friend that owns a Lamborghini, they'll let you drive the Lamborghini, or you rent a Lamborghini, let's just say five times, 10 times, whatever. You have those memories. You can say, I've been in a Lamborghini, I've driven a Lamborghini, I know what a Lamborghini is like, right? But you don't have to pay $230,000 for a Lamborghini to have that experience. So what's more important? Is, is it more important to, to for your ego to say I own the Lamborghini and so I know what it's like to drive and ride the Lamborghini and I've had memories of the Lamborghini or is it or does it make more sense just to have those experiences whether you're in using someone else's Lamborghini you're renting it or you're leasing it for a temporary amount of time so that you can lodge those experiences and those memories in there right and, and I'm saying just for the average person okay on a higher scale, yeah, if you have an excessive amount of cash and you're, you know, you understand different banking strategies and, and financing strategies and you're, you're putting money into a luxury vehicle with the calculation that you're going to use it for a specific, specific amount of time and then resell it and still make a profit, you know, even still, you're not even, you're not doing that with the intent of owning it long term, right? It's more about getting the experiences, getting the memories and not letting the idea of trying to own something bankrupt you in the process right and so many people have this mindset like they feel that they need to own something and that ownership process you know it, it bankrupts and hurts a lot of people in that process and in reality all they really want is that they just want the experience so these are these are tips and tools and gems and stratagems that I teach and that I use uh, to create a life of abundance to have these experiences without being tied down or becoming a slave or becoming bankrupt in the process right so think about it do you really want to own something or do you really just want to have those experiences owning everything owning nothing and controlling everything right owning nothing but controlling everything and this is what we're talking about when you when you're looking at wealth protection and, and building assets and owning uh, owning things of high value and just owning things in general you don't want to own anything you simply want to control them for several different reasons um, one reason is is that if you don't own it then nobody can ever try to take something from you because you don't own it okay uh, if you're just controlling something then they can't take it from you because you don't own it. You're just managing it. You're just hired to run something. Um, and then when people are looking to try to come after what you have, they can't find anything because you don't own anything in your name. That's something completely separate. The next thing is, let's talk about experiences. Do you need to own the thing that's giving you the experience? Like, for example, if you want to go on a private jet, do you need to wait and you can actually own a two million dollar private jet for you to say okay well now I'm gonna ride on a private jet and have the experiences right or you riding on a private jet however you do it several multiple times not giving you the same satisfaction of the experience of being able to say I've been on a private jet I know what it's like to ride on a private jet right and if you can just make these little these little tweaks 
in your consciousness and your mentality and the way you view what we're ultimately looking to acquire is memories and experiences, right? So then it becomes about how do we go about acquiring and building and collecting these, these memories and experiences. And the people that are trying to stay so locked into trying to own something, the people that understand this are able to t take advantage or capitalize off of uh, the downfall of people who refuse to make that shift in their thinking. Charles Bay, New World Order of Finance. Today we're talking about owning nothing and controlling everything, not just your assets, but specifically about the experiences. You don't need to own the thing that's gonna give you the experience, right? You just wanna control how you're having the experience.